Colin Pitchfork. Murderer. Rapist. Paedophile. Got caught. Got 30 years. Had a few years in an open prison. To prove he could mix with people. Not commit a crime. Then gets let out. Been out a couple of months. Back inside. Chatting to teenage girls. Our parole board saw fit to let this piece of scum out of prison and mix with us. After the crimes that he committed, after the crimes he committed, our parole board, our fucking useless parole board, thought they had rehabilitated him, that he could mix and live amongst us. But no. He tried it. He was breaking his rules of being let out. And he's back inside. I honestly don't understand these parole boards. I honestly don't understand how their fucking brain works. People like Colin Pitchfork, you cannot rehabilitate. You cannot make them live in the decent world with us. The world is full of fucking idiots as it is. Rapists, terrorists, murderers. Idiot drivers in BMWs. Who are sitting in the back of a bloody Sprinter van. Why? I just don't understand how they can sit there on a parole board. People who do not actually fucking live in this real world and think it is okay to let somebody like Pitchfork out. A bloke who actually went and murdered, raped a teenage girl while he left his son alone sleeping. Caught on DNA, caught by DNA, one of the first people to be caught, the first person to be caught using DNA. And this parole board seen fit to let him out. Who would have committed his crime again? There is no doubt in my mind, he would have done this again. He would have done it again. He would have had one last hurrah and done it again. Given the chance of getting a teenage girl alone, he would have done it again. He would have raped and murdered again. And if he had, that parole board wants locking up. They want locking up because they've let him out and he's broke his rules already. You cannot rehabilitate scum like that. It is not like training a puppy to go outside for a piss and a shit. Disgraceful actions by our parole board. Put me on the fucking parole board. I'll sort it. Put me on it. Put any decent human being on the parole board. Right? I don't give a fuck. Oh, you got 30 years, you've got to let him out. No, you fucking ain't. You ain't got to let him out. While he was in prison, right, what he was in prison for was he raped and murdered teenage girls, right? Underage teenage girls. Now... Not that I've ever been in prison, I've never even visited anybody in prison, right? But I would think that in a man's prison, there is a fair chance there is no 15 year old girls walking around. What are they gonna do? Start putting teenage girls in there to tempt him to do what he did? I am fed up with this country being so pathetic and fucking woke that we will not keep anybody locked up who has done not one but two fucking crimes people call me a food reviewer I'm not a fucking food reviewer I review life I review what people say and think 
I'll say what people don't think, uh, don't say. And I'm fucking fed up with it. So, if there is any members of that parole board that actually get to hear about this, why don't you come on my fucking podcast, right? Come on my podcast and let me have a chat with you. Because you could have cost another family's lives. I fucking can't tell you how fuming I am over this. I can't tell you how angry and so let down I have feel by our parole board. There is no punishment. There is no punishment that can be issued for somebody who has committed two rapes, two murders on underage girls. It's bad enough, it's bad enough on girls that are women, that are grown up. But to do it to 15 year old girls, nobody seems to mention the fact that that is paedophilia. Why? Fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Our judicial system lets the public down time after time after time after time. The coppers get them. The coppers nick them. They take them in. And then the bloody judicial system just lets them out. It is a complete waste of time. And I tell you what, folks. One day something will kick off. It's like they give them a change of name. A new identity. So that they're not singled out. They need singling out. Costs thousands to relocate them. Give them a new identity. Costs thousands of pounds of our money. They taking the fucking piss this parole board. So please, if somebody fucking knows one of them. I'll travel to any part of the country. To sit down, have a cup of tea and a biscuit. And a chat with them on why they let him out. Why? Why did they do this?